It's finally here, the King Song S18. I've been waiting to ride one of these wheels for quite a while now. We've been talking about suspension for a couple years, knowing that it's on its way, and here we finally have it. I've spent a lot of time riding this wheel in the last week or so, put a bunch of miles on it, and I've really gotten to know the S18. Let's go over some of my experience in this video, and uh, first let's just talk about the build quality and what this thing looks like on first impressions. You can see this already has some scuffs and scratches and some miles on it. It's pretty dirty. It's been used. I will say I'm a little bit disappointed in the fit and finish of the rubbers and plastics surrounding this S18. Uh, nothing really quite fits very well. There's a ton of panel gaps. You compare this to something like uh, a wheel from InMotion or Gotway, and it just looks a little bit shoddy. Not King Song's best work as far as uh, initial quality impressions. However, that all changes once you start riding the wheel. So if you don't really care too much about aesthetics, um, that's a good thing because this S18, I don't know, just there are some things that are definitely quality issues on the outside. I do like it in black, however. I think it looks proper and uh, the painted suspension arms here look absolutely stunning. My shock is set to 150 PSI in the positive chamber and about 20 to 30 PSI in the negative chamber. I found that to be the kind of the best setup for my rider weight. I'm about 145 pounds with all my gear. Without further ado, let's get on this thing, go for a ride, and I'll tell you what it's been like to live with this last week. So first impressions of the S18 are absolutely fantastic. This is such a comfortable wheel to ride. It takes out all of the road imperfections, all of those big nasty potholes that you hit that sometimes come as a surprise. Not as much of a big deal in the S18 anymore, which is a very good thing. There's a little bit of a safety element to that in that you get caught out by a surprise pothole or a big bump and you're not gonna get thrown off the wheel. The suspension is just gonna absorb it and it does a beautiful job at that. This isn't necessarily the most powerful wheel out there. It has enough power to take you up to and cruise at around 30 miles an hour. I feel really comfortable riding this all day about 25 to 28 miles per hour, no problem. But you're gonna take a significant hit in range. This is only an 1100 watt hour battery. So I've been able to get about 10 to 12 really good miles out of this wheel until you start seeing little torque dips around 25 miles per hour and then once you get to that 15 mile mark you really can't go past 10 or 15 miles per hour before seeing beeps torque dips little notices that you're getting low on battery and when you're at about 20 15 30 percent uh, the wheels performance is significantly impacted so if you're going to be doing longer group rides this might not be the wheel for you it's fantastic though around town and it does a really nice job uh, as it's just a, a fun wheel to grab and go with. But as a long distance cruiser, um, it's lacking a little bit in the battery capacity department. One thing I do really like about this wheel is the ergonomics when you're riding it. So Kuji Rolls had a little bit of a say in the design of this body when it was being put together and formulated. And it's one of the few electric unicycles that actually has rider-friendly ergonomics. You can squeeze this wheel with your ankles and get a pretty good amount of control of it underneath you. Combine that with the suspension and the really nice quality damping here, it just makes for a fantastic riding experience. Underneath me, it feels small and nimble. It's only about 49 pounds, so it's pretty lightweight still compared to some of the competition. And another advantage is the suspension geometry. For example, in the InMotion V11, it doesn't have suspension geometry. Therefore, you have this incredibly high ride height and you feel like you're just up on stilts riding this thing, whereas this S18 is a lot lower and that is very nice. That is something that you begin to appreciate when you ride some of the competition. 
And the quality of the suspension here is really nice. You can tell King Song put a lot of their effort into the suspension, into the shock tuning, into the geometry, into how this wheel rides over bumps and rough terrain. And I will say it, it's a game changer. This is absolutely a completely different electric unicycle riding experience. Uh, this is definitely the future of EUCs. Again, this is a first generation suspension wheel, so we can't expect everything. You're gonna have to make some concessions with range and power in this wheel. But if you're riding 10 miles or less in something like this, you are absolutely gonna love this. I would highly recommend it. My only other concern with this is just long-term reliability. Again, this is a first to market suspension wheel. So we might see some issues. There's a flex cable in there that may not last, you know, thousands of miles. There are some other things that, you know, due to the design may fail early. We don't really know, but that's kind of the risk that you take as an early adopter of a wheel like this. Do I think it's worth it? I kind of do. I really, really like this wheel. Um, riding it is such a joy. It's such a pleasure. It's not necessarily the best off-road wheel like you would expect it to be. I actually prefer my MSX on a mountain bike trail, but it's an all-round daily use wheel where you can just ride around town, soak up all the bumps and imperfections in the pavement. This is probably my favorite EUC on sale. I really like the way this wheel rides down the road, especially at high speed. It's super stable. It doesn't feel unwieldy around you. It rides awesome. My pedals are really big and flat. There's no weird angle to them like there is on the Gotway MSX or MSP. Again, as an experience, this is one of my favorite EUCs to ride I've ever ridden. The motor is also surprisingly quiet, which I think adds to the enjoyment factor of this wheel. Acceleration is smooth. There's plenty of braking, even without pads. And that's the other thing, is you add a set of pads to this and you are gonna have a fantastic wheel. It's so controllable underneath you. It really makes for an enjoyable riding experience. There is just enough power here to do trail work. You get some steeper inclines. Supposedly this can handle a 40, 40 degree incline. That kind of depends on your rider weight and uh, just how much you lean into this thing. Um, personally, I think, you know, you're gonna be wanting for a little bit more power for trail riding, but it'll get the job done. Also trail riding is generally a little bit slower speed than street riding, and you are gonna get more range out of the S18 with that, which is nice. I will say though, you get the suspension right on this, get it tuned and set up for your rider weight and your preferences and style, it is fantastic. If I were to make an automotive analogy, this is a momentum wheel. It allows you to keep your speed higher over bumps. It doesn't necessarily have the power of other EUCs out there, but you can maintain higher overall speeds on rough terrain just due to its nature of having a suspension setup. It's amazing the difference between this wheel and an MSX, for example, even with low tire pressure, the ride is just so soft and supple on this S18. My first impressions on this were incredibly good. The more I rode it, the more I realized its limitations with range. But if that doesn't bother you or it just isn't a factor in the way you ride and where you ride, then I would highly recommend this. Um, this is definitely not a wheel that you could do long distance riding with. Even going easy, I struggled to get 15 miles of range in this S18 without getting pedal dips and limited speed towards the end of my rides. Is it fun to ride? Yes and no. Um, I think a lot of the fun comes from that feeling of acceleration and you just don't quite get that with this S18. I don't quite have the confidence to lean into this wheel 
as, as I do with like my MSX or an MSP, for example. However, it's just nice to ride. It's pleasant, it's comfortable. You're so much less fatigued after a hour long ride on something like this than you are with a traditional non-suspension wheel. Your leg muscles, your feet, your knees, everything is that much better taken care of because you have suspension underneath you. But again, this is not the best off-road wheel out there. It's just a really nice all-around wheel. And if you go in thinking about it with that mentality, then uh, you kind of know what to expect. The faster you go to, the better the suspension works. High speed off-road riding like on a dirt road or on a two-track trail like this, this is probably where this S18 shines the most. It soaks up the bumps incredibly well, and the faster you go, the more the suspension is able to work because of your higher speeds. You get on a trail like this where there's some really big gotcha potholes, and in something else you'd be thrown off, but in this S18, it's easy. It's no problem whatsoever. It's amazing how much the suspension soaks up the little bumps and the big bumps. Look at this pothole, no problem. This is a pretty big deal for me in Michigan because we have such terrible roads and there's so many potholes that are kind of changing on a daily basis with our freeze thaw this time of year. And sometimes you just don't see a pothole. It's in a shadow, what have you. And on a wheel like this, it's not a big surprise. It's not a big deal. This is about as fast as I feel comfortable going in this S18. We're probably at about 20, 25 miles per hour. Getting a little bit of tilt back at 29 miles per hour. It's so silent, so smooth. Definitely a game changer as far as just overall riding experience. The brakes are very nice and responsive. You get a good amount of braking power. Add pads and that only improves. I think King Song did a really nice job blending performance, weight, suspension tuning, battery capacity with this wheel. The only shortcoming is the range, but really when it comes down to it, it's a little bit less comfortable to ride more than 15 miles anyway. Uh, it's just that this wheel makes it so livable and so comfortable to ride those distances that you're always wishing for just a little bit more range. But if it were my money and buying a new wheel on sale today, I would probably swing for this one despite some of those shortcomings. A lot of my riding is short distance and solo. So for me personally, it's not as big of a deal. It's just that if I were gonna be doing group rides where these guys are out there for two or three hours and 30 plus miles, I wouldn't be able to hang at all. All right guys, well, those are my thoughts on the King Song S18. A big thanks to Yuko for lending me this wheel and letting me give it a chance to give you guys an idea of what it's been like to ride. If it weren't for them, I don't think I'd be able to test so many of these new electric unicycles that are just fresh to market. So uh, check them out. They've got an electric unicycle store and community at yuko.com. We'll put a couple links in the description. They also have a pretty good YouTube channel that gives a lot of information on the latest EUC tech and gear. Thanks again for watching, guys. We will see you in the next video. Until then, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. We will see you later. Take care.